to you, the pastor of Rehoboth Church of God in Christ, Elder Peerless Jefferson. We are glad to greet you again in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And we are here this afternoon to render a short program for you. And, and we feel like that we'll be able to benefit you in some way. And at this time, we want to just let each one just relax and feel just like you're at home. Uh, and everybody just be yourself. Be just like we were in our everyday service. Amen. Just here, we'll first start out. We're going to have Minister Emmett Williams read us a scripture, after which you'll be in the hands of Missionary Bernice Thomas. reading from the 8th chapter of the book of Romans, beginning at the first verse. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. For what the law could not do, in that it was weak through the flesh, 
God sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh, and for sin condemned sin in the flesh, that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the Spirit the things of the Spirit. For to be carnal-minded is death, but to be spiritual-minded is life and peace. We thank the Lord for being here this evening. And right now, before the testimony service, we will have one number from the choir, Rehoboth's Inspirational Choir. Amen. God bless you today. Thank the Lord for Jesus and for what he is to me, because he saved me from sin one day. He sanctified me and filled me with his holy glow, and today I'm glad. I just love Jesus, amen, because he is so good. And we're coming to you, the Rehoboth Choir is coming to you with an A selection, God Save a Dying World.
Lord. Because one day when I was in my sin, the Lord saved me and sanctified me, baptized me with the Holy Ghost and fire. And tonight I have a mind to go on with the Lord. Praise the Lord. We're going to come to you with a few testimonies of God's goodness to us this evening. And right now, our first one will be none other than Minister James Jefferson. Praise the Lord. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. 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 Oh. Hallelujah. Woo. First, give an honor to God and to my pastor and to the saints of God today. To the viewers, that certainly we are glad to be here. Say, certainly the Lord is blessing. We're just, I don't know, this is just a special blessing. Say, I was standing there thinking of how I'm a Vallejo boy. <laughs> I come up in Vallejo and I was thinking about the many friends that I've, you know, come in contact with in Vallejo and to all of them, and to my enemies, <laughs> to everybody today, I would just like to tell them that today I'm saved, sanctified, and baptized with the precious Holy Ghost, where well, I'm glad. I thank God for his cleaning, cleaning up power, say his cleansing power, say he Clean me up from all of my sins. Say, I thank God because I came into the knowledge of it that it was the blood of Jesus and that he had paid the sacrifice for it all and that the Lord came into my life and took the guilt. My God, say, he took the guilt. <laughs> and I feel all right tonight. Say, he took the blame and bear it on the cloth for you and I. And I just thank God for his wonderful kindness, tender mercy. Say, certainly the choir, you know, I just thank the Lord for... Each and every one of us here today say the Spirit of the Lord is in this place. Oh, yeah. This is the second time I've been here and last time the Spirit was here and I'm back and the Spirit is here again. Say, he must be walking along with me. <laughs> He's following me around. But I thank the Lord for Jesus. Say, certainly he's been good to me and we'd just like to invite Vallejo. Come see us sometime. Say, the Lord loves you. God bless you. James Jefferson. And you know the first little song from the choir said, Bless the Lord, O my soul. And right here we have none other than Sister Minnie Billups to come with her beautiful testimony. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, first I give it on God to my pastor and to all those that are present here. I thank the Lord for my life, health, and strength. I thank the Lord for his goodness and his loving kindness and his tender mercy that he bestowed upon me. Most of all, I thank the Lord for being saved, sanctified, baptized, and filled with the Holy Ghost and that with fire. Truly, I thank the Lord for Jesus in my life today. I couldn't say this about three or four years ago, but I, I can stand here and I can say now that Jesus is real. Jesus is real in my soul today. You should try Jesus today. He's, he's the answer. Christ is the answer. I thank the Lord for how he picked me up out of sin and shame, placed my feet on a solid rock, and that rock is Jesus. So I desire that, you know, all those who, who's looking at this program today to try Jesus because he's real. I thank the Lord. <laughs> Jesus. He is real today. Praise the Lord. And right now we'll have a solo coming from none other than Minister Jonathan Pry. Praise yes. the Lord. Thank you, son. <coughs> Praise God. I'm indeed glad to be here today in the house of the Lord. And Glad to be able to greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I am saved, sanctified, and filled with God's precious Holy Ghost. And I want you to pray for me also as I attempt to sing a song for you. One of these mornings. Nothing, no nothing to do But I'll just walk around 
walk around heaven all day now when I get to heaven I'm gonna sing and shout nobody 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 will be able to put me out oh my mother I pray she'll be waiting and my father too and we'll just join hands together and just walk around, walk around heaven all day. Well, up above, can't you hear? Can't you hear me pray? All I want you to do is just walk. Walk right by, by my side. I want you to hold my hand. When my way, my way, my way gets so dark and cloudy, I need you. I need him. I need him. Need him for my God oh every 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 day will be Sunday Sabbath will have no end see if you can visualize this we'll do nothing we'll do nothing but sing we'll just sing a prayer Well done. Our race, our race, our race will be run. I just walk around, walk around heaven all day. walk around in God's heaven. Praise the Lord. After all of this is over and we hold out to the end, one day we're going to just walk around in God's kingdom. And now we'll have a testimony from Sister Jessie Brown. I thank God for being here. Thank you for saving and sanctifying me, baptizing and filling me with the precious Holy Ghost and fire. Truly, I just thank God because he looked down upon me. You know, one out of many millions of people, praise the Lord, and he had mercy and he saved me, praise the Lord. You know, I could have been out there dying in my sin, praise the Lord, but tonight I have a hope, hallelujah. You know, that blessed hope, that Christ in me, my hope of glory, praise the Lord. You know, I was thinking how people are just really busy going about seeing about their work, building their houses in their land. But you know, take time to think about your soul. Yes, what does it profit a man to gain this whole wide world and to lose his soul, praise the Lord? Put your soul first, hallelujah. Jesus is soon to come, praise the Lord. Your soul put it first. Jesus is able to cleanse you, hallelujah. Without the shedding of blood, there could be no remission of sin, praise the Lord. Follow peace with all men. For holiness without, without which no man shall see the Lord. God bless you. Amen. We thank and praise the Lord for this, that lovely testimony. And right now we are bringing to you Brother George McFarland. Amen. Amen. Oh, praise God. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Praise the Lord for being here today. Yeah. Thank you. Praise the Lord for being saved, sanctified, and filled with the precious Holy Ghost. Yeah. Thank you. Praise the Lord for waking me this morning, closed in my right mind. Yeah. The reason why I know I'm closed in my right mind because I woke with my mind on Jesus. Yeah. And, you know, one day I was standing on the corner and uh, one of the saints just came up to me and asked me, he said, uh, do you want to go to church, you know? And I didn't want to go to church, but the Spirit of the Lord convicted me on the corner and, said, and I told him yes, you know? 
and that was my opportunity to meet Jesus, you know. And I, I just thank and praise the Lord that I came to Rehoboth. You know, I, I've met a lot of friends and, you know, I love them all. And I just desire the prayers of the saints to pray for me and pray for my family. Truly, I thank God for being here. I thank God for this privilege to address you tonight. I thank God for one day saving me, sanctifying me, and filling me with the Holy Ghost and that with fire. I thank God most of all for salvation. I thank him because one day he took me out the nightclub. One day he took the cigarette out of my mouth. One day he took the cocktail out of my hand. You know, I'm glad for Jesus today. Many young people and many old are looking for an answer today. They're looking for it in, in, in alcohol and in dope, but the answer is not there. Jesus is the answer for the world today, and there is no other. Jesus is the way. You know, I thank God because one day he looked down upon me. You know, when you realize how close your next door neighbor is, and God stretched down his hand to me. Truly, we're not here tonight to put on a show. Our business is the winning of souls. We're about our Father's business. And you know, God is going to bless. We just believe he's going to bless. Maybe some young boy or some young girl may today turn around and go another way. Pray for me. We thank and praise the Lord for that beautiful testimony coming from Sister Rachel Johnson. How God took all of these bad habits away from her. You know, we don't have to sin no more. Praise the Lord. The blood of Jesus it will wash us as white as snow. Right now, we are bringing to you Minister Dennis Johnson. Amen. Amen. The Bible says, without any controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. For God was manifested in the flesh. He was justified in the spirit. He was seen of angels. He preached unto the Gentiles. He was believed on in this world, and he's received up to glory. But to me to live is Christ, and to die is gain. Truly I give unto God tonight, and to my pastor, Superintendent Pillars Jefferson, and to each and every one of you. Truly I thank God for being here. I thank him for waking me up this morning, closing my right mind with the activities of my limbs. I thank him for how he just blessed me this day, a day which I've never seen. I thank him most of all for saving me, sanctifying me, and filling me with his precious Holy Ghost, and that with fire. Listen, it took a God to save me because one day I was with a show band. Amen. I was doing everything that I thought I was big enough to do. Amen. I was playing with such artists as Isaac Hayes, Gladys Knight and the Pips. Amen. The Ohio players. But one day in Memphis, Tennessee, listen, God, God, hallelujah, God came into my life. He came into my life. And listen, he looked down on me. And I wasn't worthy. I wasn't worthy of this. But because of Jesus, because he hung down on the cross for the sins of the world, listen, he looked down on me, and he saved me, and he justified me. And today I'm cleansed through his blood. Because one day, listen, I had to couldn't help it. And somebody today might have the can't help it. And somebody a dope addict, somebody a wino, somebody a streetwalker, somebody a pimp. Listen, I want you to know the day that Jesus, he's the answer. He's the only way. And I want to stress on your heart that he's soon to come. He's soon to return again. And it pays for us to be ready. Listen, I feel like preaching, but I'm saying God bless you.
little song said, don't you want to go to heaven? Heaven is mine. Oh, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Didn't we enjoy those beautiful testimonies? Telling about how God can save you from your sin. Oh, praise God. Truly, we enjoy them. But right now, we're going to have none other than Sister Deborah Nash to come with to us with a beautiful song. Praise the Lord. Sing out your shoulder. One day God looked beyond my thoughts and saw my needs. And right now we will bring you our Rehoboth Church of God in Christ choir. <laughs> 
again. Church of God in Christ is coming to you with the B selection. Amen. I just love Jesus today because he is so good. Amen. And we're coming with the B selection coming from Sister Sheila Smith. Take me back, dear Lord, to the place where I first received you.
sanctuary and bless the Lord. We're thanking God for his goodness and for the service thus far. Now we will now like to present to you one of the most outstanding men in the village, the city of Vallejo, California. Our pastor, Elipurnus Jefferson, who is a pastor of Rehoboth Church of God in Christ at 245 Holly Street, Vallejo, California. Let's all receive him by saying, Amen. Amen. Let us all say, Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Let's say, Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Let's say, Bless the Lord. Today, I must say, I love the Lord with all of my heart. And we want to thank the choir tonight. Amen. The president, Brother Jefferson, Director Sister Joyce Johnson, and all of you that came along, happy for our church mother and all that's here to this afternoon. Amen. I love the Lord, don't you? Yes. Now we are just, if you want to know who we are, we are just plain old Pentecostal people. Thank you. Believe in the old time salvation. That's salvation that'll make you walk upright. We believe that when you really receive salvation, there will be a change in your life. Regardless to what type of life that you live, or how much you might possess, or how bad or how wrong you feel like you've been. If you could just accept Jesus Christ, as your personal Savior, let him come into your life. He'll give you a new life. Many of these young people you see here came out of sin. And they had got way far out, just like many young people are this afternoon. We know what time we're living in. These are evil days. We've never lived in a time like this. This year has been the bicentennial year. That's been quite a celebration throughout. It's all right to celebrate the bicentennial year. But we have a celebration that's going to be much greater than that. Thank the Lord. And if we could just say one thing to one girl or one boy, one woman or man, to cause them to change their life. Many times they're out there on dope and some of them is hooked on sex and many other things. Some trying to get gain. Many people today, they are materialistic. They're seeking to get rich and store up a lots of things in this life. Amen. These things are all right so long as you live. But they're only temporarily. Amen. The Bible says, what shall a man to get gain? Many people today, they are materialistic. They the Bible says, what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Yes. Now we're going to talk to you a little bit from the word of the Lord, coming from the book of the Act of Apostle, I believe. We are just plain Pentecostal folk. We couldn't be anything else we wanted to be. In other words, down in the south in Arkansas, where I came from, they call us Holy Roller. We don't mind being called a Holy Roller. That don't bother us at all. Because we're holy and rolling right on. In the book of the Act of Apostle, we're just going to come to you quick and brief. The 10th verse of the said chapter, and while they looked steadfastly towards heaven, as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white appear, which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? Yes. This same Jesus, same Jesus. Same. which is taken up from you yes. into heaven, shall so come in like manner yes. as ye have seen him go into heaven. Oh, yes. 
In other words, he is coming back again. Jesus is coming back again. And he said, be ready. While he was here at Tabernacling for 33 years, he had chosen disciples and made apostles out of them. And he led them out and they enjoyed Jesus because when they were sick, he was there to heal them. When he, they were hungry, he fed them. Remember, he fed the 5,000 men besides the women and children off the little fishes and them. But one day after he had finished his work here, in the 17th chapter of St. John, he said, I sanctify myself that you also may be sanctified through the truth. Thy word is true. Neither pray I for these alone, but for as many as believe on me through thy word. Jesus actually lived and died and rose again. But one day, while he was along with the disciples, his work was finished, and he said to them, I'm going away. Me through that word. Jesus actually lived and died and rose again. But one day, while he was along with the disciples, his work was finished. And he said to them, I'm going away. In other words, I've finished my work. I am going back to my father. And because I have said these things, he said, sorrow has filled your heart. But nevertheless, if I go not away, the comforter will not come. But if I go away, I will send you another comfort. And he shall abide with you forever. Even the spirit of truth. Thank you, Jesus. In my mind, I can see Peter being the leader of the Jew. Peter, a quick spokesman, said, Lord, you mean to tell me you're going away? And when I was sick, you're going to be gone. But he said, if I go away, Peter, I'll send you another coming. He shall abide with you forever. Thank you, Jesus. The words that I spoke unto you say you are clean through it. In other words, you're cleaned up. It means sanctified, it means cleaned up and set apart or made holy. I've already cleaned you up. But I tell you, your work isn't finished yet. Thank you, Jesus. You're not a complete witness yet. I want you to go back to Jerusalem. I want you to go back to Jerusalem. I've been set apart or made holy. I've already cleaned you up. But I tell you, your work isn't finished yet. Thank you, Jesus. You're not a complete witness yet. I want you to go back to Jerusalem. I want you to go back to Jerusalem. I want you to tarry there. In other words, I want you to wait until you be endued with power from on high. Out at the Mount Olive. He lifted up his hand and blessed them in his usual manner. And while he blessed them, thank you, Chief. He was delivered up out of his sight. And a cloud received him out of his sight. That stood by them, two men in white appeared. And he, the disciple, he said, they said unto the disciple, 
said, why stand ye here gazing up into heaven? Because that same Jesus, that same Jesus, whom is taken away from you into heaven, he's coming back in a manner as you've seen him go away. I want you to know he's coming back again. He's coming back again. He's coming after church without a spot or ankle, without a blemish or any such thing. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible said, follow peace with all men and holiness without which no man shall see the law. Thank you, Jesus. Titus 2 and 11 said, for the grace of God that bringeth salvation have appeared unto all men. Teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lusts, we should live soberly, we should live righteously, we should live godly, that down here in this present world. Thank you, Jesus. Pastor Paul picked it up. Thank you, Jesus. He said, listen, so we don't weep as do others, which have no hope. That denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live soberly, we should live righteously, we should live godly, that down here in this present world. Thank you, Jesus. Pastor Paul picked it up. Thank you, Jesus. He said, listen, so we don't weep as do others, which have no hope. ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live soberly, we should live righteously, we should live godly, that down here in this present world, thank you Jesus, Pastor Paul picked it up, thank you Jesus, he said listen, said we don't weep as do others, which have no hope, because we believe that if Jesus Christ died and rose from the dead, that those which are asleep in Christ, that God's going to bring them back with him. And those which remain in Christ shall not prevent those which are asleep. Thank you, Chief. Thank you, Chief. But when the trumpet of God shall sound and the dead in Christ shall rise, thank you, Chief. Since you which remain in Christ going to be caught up to meet the Lord in there. Listen, he's coming back again. One day that's going to be a meeting there. Everybody has got the Holy Ghost. Everybody that's been endowed with that power. Thank you, Jesus. When Jesus comes back again, thank you, Jesus. Those with the dead in Christ, thank you, God. I say, God, gonna bring them back with Him. Those which remain in Christ, they're gonna be caught up to meet the Lord in there. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus said, there's two gonna be in the field. One gonna be taking out and left. Two at the mill grinding. One gonna be taking out and gonna be left. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. He's coming back again. Are you ready to meet Him? Yes, Lord. Have you been washed in the blood of the Lamb? Thank you, Jesus. Are you sanctified? Yes, Lord. Have you been born again? Have you been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb? Yes, Lord. Now the time, the day is an acceptable time. Now, if you don't know God, in the pardon of sin, seek the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he's near. Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man is sought. Let him return unto God. Yes, Lord, and he'll have mercy unto our God, and he will abundantly pardon. He said, for your thoughts are not my thoughts. Your ways is not my way, says the Lord. Jesus is standing this afternoon with his hands stretched out. Said, Come unto me. Come unto me. All ye that labor, that labor, and are heavy laden. And I, I, I'll give you.
sin to be blessed with material things but don't be carried away with them yes Lord because if I could talk to rich man this evening the man went to Jesus yes said to him said master I want you to tell my brother to divide by and hand to me Jesus said to him said man so who made me a divider yes Lord so the man lied consisted not in the bundle of things which he possessed yes Lord that was a sudden rich man. Yes, Lord. He went out. He saw his barn. There were fields of the brim. He looked out in the field. They were heavy with grain. Yes, Lord. He said in his heart, I'm going to pull out a little barn. I'm going to build greater barn. Yes, Lord. The Bible said, and so he did. Yes, Lord. When he got the greater barn filled up, he said to his soul, he said, soul, to take it easy. In other words, I know I'm a successful man. I know I'm blessed. It's all right to be blessed. Yes, Lord. But he left God out. He left the most important thing out. But Jesus said, so the voice spoke out to him and said, thou fool, said, thou fool, said, this night, thy soul, thy soul, shall be quiet of thee. So then what shall he say? be blessed. Yes, Lord. But he left God out. He left the most important thing out. But Jesus said, so the voice spoke out to him and said, thou fool, said thou fool, said this night, thy soul, thy soul shall be quiet of thee. Said, then what shall these saying be? Said, what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Yes, Lord. What profit a man? If he gained the whole world yeah. and then lose his own soul. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Got to go into judgment. Yeah. Got to meet God. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Yeah. I'm prepared. Yeah. But you don't have to do it. Yeah. You don't have to go to hell. Yeah. There's a way out. Yeah. I said, there's a way out. Yeah. 1900 years ago. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. I said, Jesus. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Name is baby. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Jesus. Jesus. The Son of God. Yeah. He died. I see he died on Calvary's cross. Not only for your sin and mine, but for the sin of the whole world. Yes, Lord. All you got to do, just confess your sin and come boldly 